crazy, but that's fine, Barry. Car is going so fast. Oh, you got that right, Al. You're barking mad. You are by far the craziest. But maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Al, how can you know that? I know, Barry. I can. Al, I. No, listen. I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Sane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to... Rock slide. Well, God damn it, Barry. You are never driving again. Of course you did. Nowhere to be seen. But you could hear him, right? Right? Okay, let's get down to him. Barry! Barry! Oh, man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way! Man, there he is. Drop. Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch! There's no way you can climb down though! It's like a sheer wall! Ah! Al! There's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Ah! Yeah! Barry, are you alright? The world exploded. <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess you never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? I guess not. Is that the farm? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm now. I'll be waiting. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here. It's suicide. I'm going to the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area. You can catch up. Don't worry about it. I'm on the case. Now he's Rambo. This There's a page down there. Disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. I'll catch up with him. Don't even worry about it. Well, we're not going down. Oh, fuck off. I don't have anything, dude. Yeah, I know it's there, alright? You don't have to... Christ. Give me the fucking page. Oh, Jesus Christ. Catch your breath. When he stopped the car at the Anderson farm, Walter felt relieved. Oblivion was close at hand. The brothers wouldn't miss a jar of moonshine or two in the booby hatch. But then he saw the man on the porch, and he knew who it was. Driving for his life and knowing it was useless, he didn't realize he was crying until he couldn't see the road for the tears. See the road for the tears? Is that... Is that a... Is that a phrase? For the tears? Couldn't see the road for the tears? That sounds weird. I would think through the tears would be... What it was. Uh, I don't know who Walter is. At least I don't think I know who Walter is. I gotta stop fucking using the sprint button. Fuck you. Oh, come 
on, man. There's a thermos up there. Ouch. Come on. Ouch. Ouch. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Holy shit. Get me the hell out of here. Shit, 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 fuck shit. Goddamn birds. another page Agent Nightingale stared at the past outrider the man was sleeping off one hell of a night Nightingale felt a stab of envy at Wake's oblivion but he had a job to do he put the gun to Wake's head and almost became a murderer what his the hand fuck? shook and his throat felt tight and dry Biting his teeth, he tried again to pull the trigger. He lost the nerve. Wake stirred. Nightingale would have to settle for an arrest. Bro, why is this guy... ...being such a dirtbag? Is there anything else up here? This just lead to nothing? Yeah. Oh, okay, I see, I see, I see. Yeah, gotta turn this. They come. Ah, I saw you, you bitch. Ah, he said it. He said it. I said it earlier, and then he said it. So, come on. They have so many. Oh my god. I'm gonna fucking die, dude. I don't have any fucking. Oh shit. Yep, that was the end of Alan Wake. See you in the next one. No, no, come on. You fucking bitch. Fine, fuck you. Back up. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, that's a bunch of bullshit, huh? Who the hell is that? Away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. 
For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Well, now that's a bigger flashlight, huh? Anybody got any guns out here at this campsite? No? The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. And if it wasn't, then what? batteries. What the hell? I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Is that a... T I had seen glimpses of the light in her. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. I was just about to say, was that an actual form of a body that I saw? The dark presence followed the choreography laid out to it in the manuscript, growing stronger and stronger, moving like a storm from one scene of destruction to the next. But it was still bound to follow the story and chained to the dark place it came from. When the story reached the end it longed for, it would finally be free. Well, I don't like that. Give me a gun, please. I don't like this. <laughs> oh God, another page. The storm raged on as the Anderson brothers walked unsteadily away from the clinic with the other patients in tow, knowing that this time they wouldn't return. The darkness around them seethed with horrors, but Tor and Odin were unafraid. Their eyes glinted with guile. They knew every secret path, and there was blood on their hands. They had fought these shades before. Oh, goddamn. Come on. There we go. The gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The taken are filled with darkness. <gasps> Who is CW? Can't get up there. Watch the bear traps. Today, bitch. Come on. Stop following me. Oh my god. I just want to sprint so badly, he just moves a little slow. Nope. Not doing this. Ouch, 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 ouch. Holy shit. I could see the car, but there was no sight of the driver. Okay. Hello? Anybody here? Ah! Barry! Uh. Ah! Ah! No! Danny! You're not! Ah! Please! Ah! 
Jesus Christ. What are you? Bro, first of all. The fucking two bear skins on the wall? Doesn't really seem. Um. Why would you put them on the wall, number one? And number two. Two of them? Kind of degrades the cool factor of having an animal skin. Bro? Uh, I'm gonna need I that. You. you were in jail the other day. Oh, I went shit. To the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see they're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. But my buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow up to a real good movie. <laughs> the best friend's suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap. Anyway, uh, and he's dead. Well, I turned the lights on for you, but it appears as though this house was built without any light switches. Oh, God, I've run through every possible course in my head. If I continue like the dark presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way. Near escapes. Cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Huh. Tom's the diver. God damn, dude. This is so fucking good, man. I miss this game. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let me guess. Danny, huh? I was just gonna say, fuck you, Danny. All right, let's take that truck. A good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. For a moment, Hartman considered strangling the idiot. Mike huh? was mean-spirited, but easily manipulated. An emotional infant who lived for his approval. Wake, by contrast, was a far more difficult subject. Mott had given him too much leash. In two days, who knew what could happen? Hartman would have to find a way to rein him in, and quickly. So, um, if it's not already obvious, it appears that Hartman, uh, was Mott's boss, and Mott was the guy who claimed he kidnapped Alice. Uh, is there anything else here? No? Alright, let's just take the fucking car. Whoa, you hear that? The breathing. Well, well, well. Oh, shit. I don't like that. Okay. Does this lead anywhere? A locked door? Yep. Okay. Alright, let's go. Myself, but 
Mary. Whoa. It's Mary. I saw that shine just in the nick of time. The fucking camera angles are so wonky on that. It's not like... It's not like, uh... It's not the same as fucking... <clears throat> when you're on the ground. It's like, if I push my camera stick to the left, it, like, looks... out the left window. I had to, like, push it forward right in order to get the right angle. It's just... It's not great. Alright, this house also has more supplies. Some flashbangs, hell yes. Anything? No? Okay. Uh, let's go, 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 get out of there. I think I saw another, uh, <coughs> another coffee thermos, but I don't know for sure. Where am I going now? I need to get out and run. God damn it, this is so fucking. How do I turn on high beams, huh? What the? Are you? Is your thing not? Jesus Christ. Okay. Assholes, man. Do I have to go through here? I was rubbing my eye, in all honesty. Didn't want to lie to you guys. Anyone that's listening. There's supposed to be a manuscript page in one of the corners of this farm. Wow, my nose is so itchy. It's pissing me off. More supplies. Don't send shooters after me, bro. God damn it.
old gods of Asgard. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Al! Run! It's coming! There's too many of them! Ah! God damn! It so just turned everything on. Huh? Shut up and shoot. Ow! We have to fight them all! Fireworks from here! Sure is a good thing that uh hey, Yeah, okay, well, just fucking do it and stop talking. Uh. Yeah, it's a good thing that this is just a. Random Guys YouTube channel, because otherwise, this would be fucking. Music would be taken off from any other stage. Taken with indirect means. I didn't even. I didn't even do anything on that one. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. I can hear breathing. Hey, Al! This way to the farm. Hold up here. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck him as idiotic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Okay. Now where's that other one? 
Isn't there one like... Maybe it's on this side of the farm? There's supposed to be one on like a wheelbarrow or something. I don't see anything. Hmm. I don't even know which direction we were originally in when we saw the farm. Somewhere up there, maybe? Oh my god. Stuttering was getting the best See, of me. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right where I left it. Jesus I'll come Christ, back for Mary. it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Right. Okay. Well, I'll figure it out. Um. Is the page out there on the tractor? Maybe it was up there that I saw it. Yes. There we go. As the deputies hauled Wake and Wheeler away, Agent Nightingale eagerly examined the stack of papers Wake had been carrying. It was incomplete, a collection of random pages, but there was enough. He saw his own name in there, among others. His hand shook with emotion. Finally, it was proof. He had been right all along. Can't wait to find that page. The one that talks about killing the FBI agent or something. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Alright, let's go. Wow! Look, you look at that thing, Al! They really went all out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Another TV, I'm about to lose stuff. my mind. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? In front of Barry. And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV? Huh. Yeah, what was that? Uh, reality show called? Sleep. We all spend uh -oh, night springs. Soft Man. Somewhere it's between memory. fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? But your first real writing job. What got you started? Was this one of your episodes? In Night Springs. Well, let's Tonight's see. Episode, the Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow, who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys, and they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. 
no chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. <laughs> None of that. Fucking hate that. A cold sweat. Oh. Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something, something's happening here. Yeah, what's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wake. What? That was the end of the episode? Doesn't it usually give an outro? Very interesting. One more stuff over here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, Alright, nothing else of value in this place. Now what the hell are we doing? Find a way through the barn? Well, I see a giant ship and I've got an idea. In 1976, madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the head east ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. The Andersons the feel fuck? like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. No way. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. They were drinking the lake water? The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Yep, you read my mind. What is this? Ragnarok tour. Spelled Ragnarok wrong, but I'm sure that's on purpose. Awed by the Celestial Wrath of Fury. Seattle, Bakersfield, Long Beach, New York City. New York, New Jersey, Michigan, Florida. Wow. Louisiana, I almost put, said Los Angeles. Okay. Yep, already got him, okay. Of course. No, 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 no. Fuck you. Bitch. Oh my god. Ow. What the hell? Barry, I need a light. Oh, fuck. Where the hell are you, Barry? Oh. How the hell did you get over there? Moonshine. Wow! 
Those geezers had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Hey, you find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. Reality show, maybe. Podcast, even. But a new single? Be careful, I mean, Al! Who knows? Wow, full on shotgun ammo, okay. Open the silo door for Barry. Eat your fucking own dick, bro. I did not appreciate that. I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? How tall is this fucking thing? tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? Deerfest is almost here, isn't it? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Well, that's nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Huh. Wonder if that's supposed to be reminiscent of any particular character, like famous characters in other cinema. Seems like it's a. Uh, I don't know, some sort of a trope. I don't even know if that's the right word, but... I could see the building that had to be Anderson's home on the other side of the van. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned-out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. I'm gonna grab all this shit. Whoa, it got really dark in here. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. You've got to be kidding me. Yeah. I knew it as soon as I saw it. Son of a bitch. real got it oh come on you weren't Thank you for that 
Very interesting fact. More supplies. Okay. Wait a minute, was there a flare in there? Three flares. That is a chainsaw stuck in a tree. How the hell do I get through? Open the silo door. Whoopsie, forgot about Barry. If I forget to cut instances like this out, I do apologize because I don't mean to leave these in here. These are kind of just as boring for me as they are for you. Um, so yeah, sorry about that. Can I kick this open? No, it's not even... I don't like this. Chrissy, wake up! Is that the door? Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me! Hang on! Hey, let's go, man. Now, how do we get through this gate? You gonna open it? Thanks, I didn't have the hey, ability to I push think last time. On the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. It's called Valhalla. I noticed that uh, Odin talked about how he had on, two ravens that were taken from him. Um, memory and thought. I wonder what the actual old gods know the truth. I wonder if that's actually like I don't know what I can't remember what the names are of Odin's ravens in like God of War, you know. Am I leading the way? Okay. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Well, that's probably gonna be on the first level, right? So. Downstairs was out, but I was sure I could fix that at the fuse box. Is that what you're sure of, Alan? Fucking fridge doors off. Like randomly. I had a gold record. It's pretty cool. Is this what a hundred thousand or not a hundred thousand this what a hundred thousand in sales does for you? Guess the fuse box isn't on the bottom floor. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Hmm. Can't get in there. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. Well, let's get to revealing what the hell's going on here. Come on, Al. Let's get the lights on, The huh? fuse box is in a bedroom upstairs. Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. 
That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be... What's your face? The crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right. Must be. Is this it? It's actually... It's crazy, I remember this tune. <laughs> okay. I'm like find mouthing it as I'm sitting we'll here. Stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. The music's fucking good. Hey Al, lots of hours before dawn. For having been Might written for, rest. you know, by rest, I mean a plot drunk. point. Come on, Barry, this is... Yeah, what the hell? Let's drink the lake of... Or, yeah, lake water. I know we don't get along, but we're gonna find her, right? Even though you're a crazy bastard, I'm gonna stick by you. No matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And, and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off those crooks and be a, a, a booze millionaire. Probably not a good I idea. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Wow, what a good game. <sighs> Bro, your eyes are open. And you're twitching on the couch. That's creepy as fuck. Here we go. Let's find out what the fuck happened. Spectral form. Alice! Alice! Where are you? Help! Alice! I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! No! It was a crazy drunken no! dream. And yet, it was more than that. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Anderson's moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls. The night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice, Alice? Would never turned Alice. the lights off. The lights were already off. There was a power out, remember? I remembered thinking. I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. <sighs> Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice, and so she had me. An easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. The hell? There's no one in the window. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me. 
made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in this study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice? She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you right. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Hmm. Just like the kidnapper. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. Jesus Christ. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark. I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish. To interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. We'll know I'm here. It will be back soon. She stole the skin of my armor a long time ago. She looks so old. Jesus Christ. And so he had the manuscript with him. I had woken up, confused and groggy. My mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. It had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. So that crash was... Purely on you, Alan. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. <laughs> I remember that line too, and I don't, I don't know why, but I think it was just fucking funny the way he said, "And you're gonna pay for it." Oh fuck, dude. I forgot how fucking good this game is. And the fucking music, dude. Written for... Like a plot point? I don't know. It's a little fucking catchy. Ugh. Sorry, stretching my neck. Um... All right, well, another episode now. I think there's six, if I remember correctly. 
either six or seven. And, um... Yeah, I'll allow anyone and everyone to jam to the song. And uh, just thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Destiny